Hello, um, my name is Tor Jensen, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the project that I worked on in Boulder Bay uh, this fall. So me and um, Annika Dose uh, worked on a project through Project Manaya at Boulder Bay, looking um, to see what kind of corals were around the reefs and the bays on that island for a restoration project. So. For the beginning half of the project, we basically surveyed all the reefs that were around. There were five main bays there that we checked, and, and each one of them actually had a different um, assemblage of corals in them, which was awesome to see, because you could see that um, the bays on the north side of the island versus the south side of the island had a very different uh, coral populations, which probably had to do with the, the water currents coming in, bringing different coral eggs and larvae. Um, the site. So we checked all of the bays to see which corals were present, um, how much there were, what if any reef damage was seen, um, to try to find maybe ideal species to use for restoration and ideal restoration sites. There were certain areas that we saw that uh, exhibited old dynamite fishing scars we noticed. You'd see a whole area of totally pristine reef with a big circular depression with everything inside was kind of um, crushed. But you could already see that the the old coral was kind of growing back and, and newer recruits were growing in those areas. So you could tell that the environment was healthy enough to recover from those types of uh, fishing techniques. And they also are no longer doing them on the island. So that's great as well. The reefs were extremely healthy. Um, very high amount of diversity on the reefs. We saw over 50 different genera of coral out there and multiple species per genera at, at a lot of the sites. So in my opinion, the, the coral on the island is extremely healthy to begin with. Um, after we kind of surveyed the area, we wanted to put together um, our own little restoration project with what we had available to us on the island. So we had found these washed up fish traps. Um, they're these bamboo and net traps that some of the, the local fishermen make and they set them, um, they set these traps uh, for the fish to kind of swim in and get caught and they pick them all up. But every once in a while, one of these would wash up onto the island. So we figured take something that's A, now garbage, and B, was used to trap and kill fish we now repurpose it to become an artificial reef structure. So we took a couple of these traps and on one site in actually Moken Bay in the north had a nice sand patch that was suitable for um, making these reef structures. So we took these traps and, and, and sunk them and filled them with different rocks and, and coral rubble to kind of weigh them down. And then all on the, the outside of them, we anchored um, small branches of coral, kind of other little pieces that we'd seen that were, were broken off from larger colonies or maybe um, just like some smaller pieces that we saw that kind of got tossed around in the, in the waves that if we had left them there, they would have just gotten damaged and eroded. So we kind of collected them all up and, and anchored them to these structures. So eventually the corals themselves are gonna grow over um, these cages, the mesh on the cage, and um, just solidify that into a reef structure. So we completed that part of the project and the cages look great and there's already tons of fish checking them out. They love to kind of see some sort of um, topography on like a flat sandy bed. So the fish were coming in to check that out, which is awesome and, and so far. So the second half of the project, they are now on the island building a a coral nursery where they're taking pieces of broken coral and actually growing them out to use for later restoration efforts. This week you hear a whole bunch from Tor about what they did on the island and how the whole project went. Also since it's the very first video of this year we have the first free trip that we promised about well, almost a year ago and it's going out to one of our patrons who will be notified by email. Also, we want to welcome uh, Sailing Miss Longstar, 
thank you for signing up to be one of our patrons and welcome to the family and yeah that's about it for this week and next week a little bit more about the coral restoration on the island and also a first look around our independence hope you enjoyed bye guys